Hey guys, guess where I am? Can I be any more excited? I'm such a huge Friends fan, so I'm so excited to take you on a media preview of the Friends experience, the one in Toronto. Hey guys, this is Raymond from Traveling Foodie and I'm here at the Friends Experience, the one in Toronto. The Friends Experience Center is running all the way to January 2023 and it's located in Yorkdale, right across from the Lego store. So here you'll find a lot of different set recreations as well as behind the scenes, lots of photo opportunities. If you're a Friends fan, you will love it. There's a lot of different props, costumes, memorabilia, and there's also a store that you can enjoy to buy some Friends merch. And the ticket goes for starting $40. Are you checking it out? So you get different sections based on the character. So this here is what the actual ticket looks like when you wanted to be on the filming of Friends. And here you get the costume recreation. It's pretty obvious who wears what even without looking at the names. Here you get some extra information on behind the scenes including the studio lot plot drawing, the central perk artwork, the designer of the costumes. And I found this to be a really nice touch not just clean, Monica clean. And they have web wipes as well as hand sanitizers. So here are the real scripts from different episodes and it's actually signed by the characters. And now we're going on to Rachel. And you can see it's a bunch of hair designs. Yes, he, she was so popular with her hairstyle that people actually take a screenshot or take a photo of her on TV and ask the hairdressers to have the same hair as her. And this is the most popular one called the Rachel. Aired in the season, everyone wanted their hair to be the Rachel. So this is really cool. They actually have the entire 12 page letter that Rachel gave to Ross before they ended up on the break. So what's very interesting about this is you see that it starts off with black ink and then it kind of fades away because the ink is running out and then it becomes blue again after. So she switched pens while writing the 12 page letter. And now we're heading into Ross Geller and what else is more iconic than the pivot scene? This is one of my favorite scenes in Friends. Pivot! Pivot! And then we have a neat little timeline of who's dated whom all across the seasons. And then what's also cool to see is they actually indicate who are the actors on each timeline. So for example, Kathy here is Paget Brewster, and then you have Janine, who is Elle McPherson, and then it's funny to see Ross and Rachel's timeline. You can see all the breaks. It actually looks like a subway line. And then we have Science Boy. So this is something that Ross made as a kid, and if you remember, Phoebe actually like mugged him and stole Science Boy from him. Then you've headed to Joey Tribbiani. You've been bamboozled. And this is the iconic scene where Joey wears everything that Chandler has. I'm wearing everything you have. And here is a wall of like interesting stuff that was said during the show. So stuff that comes out is obviously, how you doing? Oh my God, Unagi. And there's some other ones that are more interesting that you may not notice. It's like, you know how Phoebe said, if it's a guy, it's Phoebo, and if it's a girl, it's Phoebe. And then here you have the sign when Ross does a bad sign without telling you. And now we're headed to Chandler. So here's the infamous pet the dog that Joey bought and he gave to Chandler, even though Chandler didn't really like it. So you know how in Chandler and Joey's room, there's an etch-a-sketch and it changes by episode or even during the episode. 
So they actually recreated some of these ones. And they also included the episode where you can find that specific etch -a sketch And this one is funny, it's the one with Chandler in the box. There is some interesting stuff for hardcore fans. So for example, you may not think the hockey stick is of value, but this is the scene where Joey actually gets trapped inside the cabinet and the guy actually steals their stuff from the living room. And there's Hugsy, Joey's penguin pal. So I love the little stuff that they added. The details are really here. So for example, when Joey was making the cabinet and he actually cut through Chandler's door and it's here. So guys, they also have the turkey that Monica puts on her head. So apparently, normally you can actually wear it for photo opportunity, but because of COVID, they ended up not doing it anymore. So we're now in the area with the one about Monica Geller. And this is the iconic kitchen area in their apartment. This is so cool. Tidying tips from Monica Geller. I won't show everything, but basically, here's number one a place for everything. And then it points to the closet space that nobody really knew what was inside until one day Chandler decided to open it. And so now we're in Phoebe's area. So they have a jukebox here and actually if you press a button it would play snippets from the episode scene. So do you remember what scene that is? So here it is. Season 3, episode 18, the one with the hypnosis tape. So what's more iconic with Phoebe than her playing outside or inside Central Park with her most popular song, Smelly Cat. So here we have another wall with very interesting stuff about friends and not a lot of people will remember these so it's really for hardcore fans. For example, this is Estelle Leonard which is Joey's agent. This is Rachel's cat that she actually didn't want after like adopting it so she ended up sell trying to like sell it. Alessandro says the place where Monica gave a bad review and ended up working as a chef for. This is when Joey moved out and this is Chandler's roommate posting. Roommate wanted, contact Chandler. This is the couch that Ross bought and this is where the pivot scene happened. In the end, he returned the couch but broke it in half so that they would accept it. This is Phoebe's ad, as a masseuse. Smelly cat, smelly cat. What are they feeding you? And the last spot is none other than the most iconic Central Perk. the experience you'll find the friends experience store where you can buy merch and exclusive items as well that you can only find at the experience and even more exclusive ones specifically for the one in Toronto if you're a big fan of friends like I do you will love it here Tickets go for $40 and above depending on the type of ticket you buy. Is it worth it? Let me know. If you enjoy this content or find it very useful, please smash the like button so that other people can enjoy it.